Thank you. Thank you. Christina Lustenberg, I'm pediatrician, and I coordinate the program Uruguay Crece Contigo. First and foremost, I would like to thank the organization for this event, Costanza Larcón. She has always rescued us from the south. I am from Uruguay, a very small country surrounded by two powerful countries like your country, our sponsors, Brazil, Argentina. We have learned a lot from the Chilean experience. You've seen that we are are not original. We're very serious. It's structured. We didn't even put, you know, an original name. We reproduced the name of the Chilean experience, but I would like to thank you. We're a very young program in Latin America, and Constanza has had a mission that is in this early childhood policies. We have to be generous people that work with this thing because many times, most of the time, we have have to compete and I have to say this first and foremost and if I have time I would like to talk about the experience in Uruguay because our cattle raising uh, system we still have difficulties with milk so first and foremost thank you very much because many times it is very difficult to show as we do as little ants below now Uruguay Uruguay reorganizes itself as a 2005 in social areas trying to eliminate inequalities from the past from the 20th century social economic inequalities because of, uh, with a high expense 8% of the population is below five years of age to 624,000 ladies. These are 48 boys a year. In the first administration of my government in 2005, we create structural reforms like the reforms of the health system, tax reforms of our social protection matrices that give answers to an emergency plan, social and national, because in 2005, we had 64 per cell of children below the age of four, below the line of poverty. We had poverty of 40%, indigency 4 and 3%. With figures of 2013, I can say that Uruguay and Latin America is the country that has produced greatest drops in poverty. So we have lowered 70% of our poverty. Now we have 11. 7.3% poverty, indigency of 0.5%, and poverty and households where we have children and adolescents that historically, this is the great challenge that we have in Uruguay, and this is something that we have for the upcoming year. And in the households where I said over 64% of children of adolescents in 2004 were below the line of poverty. Today, it's 22.5. But when we see poverty in households in our, in our countries where we have adults, is 2%. Uruguay, although we have had many reforms that are strong, we, in a conception, we are poverty there it is constant there's a concentration in children adolescents and mothers in charge of these households we have been making progress in our structures and our health health structure is a leader in the region because it is highly structural where where services benefits norms have directly impacted the the policies that were connected to mother and children. Now we talk about wholesome health of the women. This is a, we also have a program of vaccines that makes us leader in the region. We have a highly complete vaccine program and other type of reforms. In 2008, we built the national strategy of children and teenagers before being here in 2012. I used to work in the health center. I was a leader in health services and in the part of norms that is the children's and adolescent area and we create an intersectorial outline of how we should plan our policies of 2013 education health and social policies that can impact children with a projection to 2013 we have made progress in the past governments political priority has been a tax efforts through two administrations because what government says 
that they, they, they don't care about children. All of them care of our children. We have to see how much of our national budget we gear toward the children so they are able to develop themselves. And our country has increased its social expenses at four from four percent now it's five and eight percent increase there has been a fiscal effort so investment and I'm going to talk about our studies in our early childhood in the year 2012 Uruguay creates an assessment within the national strategy for children and adolescents seeing what things went right and what things went wrong and we started to saw that in early childhood well this is where we have more difficulties and the second stage is early adolescence from 10 to 14 and govern and the government starts developing an experience based on a local government like a municipality servicing highly vulnerable populations, women that were pregnant and children below the age of four. And we use the Chilean modality where the wholesome protection system was based on the law, was based on universal laws. And at the end of May of 2012, the president calls us to begin from the presidency of the republic, but we, there is an institution called Planning and Budgeting Workshop that is like a ministry, and here is where we plan policies in the medium and long term. Therefore, there is an important debate in Uruguay, why not in social policies, in health and in education, and this is what happens in most countries. We're in the half of our administration of this government that will come to an end, and we had to find agile institutionality that would lead with good management abilities as we need in policies of early childhood. Here we create a program with co-direction with the Ministry of Health and Social Development and we have technical space and institutional space with great technical leadership and political support from all the institutions that are connected to early child. We have education. We have good fame in terms of education. We have everything in terms of public and private sectors. We have health. We have the housing ministry because we believe that another policy, we don't resolve housing. This is a right to guarantee everybody's livelihood. We have all the institutions of the state that have competencies and is, is a policy of our country. We have strong uh, structure that is gov between government institutions to carry out a national policy. We started work in October 2012. This is what I said, that this program has been executed for two years with a combination of universal actions and focused anchors. We could not generate institutionality. Our target is to consolidate a wholesome protection program from the political point of view that guarantees the rights and impacts all the households where you have pregnant women and children below the age of four, but we could not start working if we were if we didn't give an answer to a long time problem that is a group. We have three problems in early childhood fragmentation of policies and education health. There is not they are not wholesome. People don't see what families need. And there is a lack of coverage of service and we st only have one third of children going to early childhood schools because we have a law as of the year 2008 where it's mandatory education with children in four or five years of age. So 95% of our children in the age of four or five go to school. Fragility is between zero and three years of age. And the other problem is we don't have preschool and the development of health system still does not have quality impact to guarantee early childhood development. And the third problem that we had is vulnerable population with our mechanisms that we had in terms of health, education, policies. We weren't reaching poverty that were three, four generations reproducing uh, these were people of low income. We had adolescents that were pregnant, and we had to give them a model 
that we had shown in Canolones is approaching this population from a different place. This is where the program starts with one component, one universal social education, one of knowledge, one to strengthen institutional capacities, and four. I am go just one minute. And the fourth component is follow-up of vulnerable population. This is the component where we focus on. Today, we're working around with 9,000 families with 40,000 members of the 28,000 families that we deal with that are below the line of poverty, creating a follow-up model. I can talk about this afterwards, but from program creation, we have university professionals from health and education, and we have, edu we have identified through our information systems and from the local systems that we have, we have found households of extreme poverty and all the vulnerability indicators change in these households when you work in the household. One of the interventions said that these are technicians graduated in the university because in Uruguay, we can have this model with and the, the families, we have everything in written with protocol of social and sanitary vulnerability. And we educate in their households. Families are not so this is a social economic effort. 32 of these children had anemia before this effort. This drops to 9%. You know, premature low weight was also very high. For example, parenting. Parenting changes a lot. And before I finish, and if I have time, I would like to tell you something, we cannot create an early childhood policy that is not crossed by a gender policy. And we cannot build an early childhood policy from seeing gender. What we do, those of us that work with early childhood policies have to see an intersectorial effort with common objectives with somebody that leads the process. What you observe in my country, we dedicate to compete in health, education, education, social policies, and okay, I stop, she says.